Okay, I've taken out all these screws and we can now take off this panel. I've also removed this D-ring that spins onto here so the data cable will pop out and we can fold this back. It shows us the inside of the unit. Now, if you're replacing the backlight on a different model of GPS, uh, I trust that it will be similar, but this is a GPS map 498. So now I'm going to take out all the screws holding down the uh, main board. That should be all of them. Now, uh, before you do anything else, make sure that all of your ribbon cables are disconnected. And to disconnect your ribbon cable, slide back the fitting here, and the ribbon cable should pop out. These are very delicate, so you want to be really careful with them. Um, and there's more than one. There's one over here, too. And this one's a little different, but you just pop up the brown part and the ribbon cable pops out. That should do it for connectors on the main board. And it should just pop out. Um, be careful, but if you have a little screwdriver or something, you can pry it out. This one has one, another connector on the back. And then there's this, which is plugged into this down here, which is why it's a little difficult to get out. So we can set that down in here. Um, this reveals the uh, LED LCD panel. So now we need to remove the holders for the panel. Okay, now this is glued on to the front of the unit, um, but it should just pop right out. Now we want to uh, continue to get towards the backlight. So you're going to need a flathead screwdriver of some sort, and what we're going to do is we're going to go around and pry off all of these little tabs. So you just go around, open them up, and out comes the backlight. So this is the L LCD panel. We're just going to leave that in here. And now we have the backlight unit with more little tabs to undo. So we're going to undo those. Ouch! helps to have a very small flathead screwdriver. Okay, so now um, we're pulling out this piece of plastic here. And there really aren't too many components here, so 
Uh, it's not that complicated, but this is the power cable for your backlight. And there's all these little layers of plastic. And you want to keep those organized. You don't want them to get mixed up. So just kind of push them off. And then we pull this out. And this is our C channel for our backlight, and the backlight just pops out, and that is your backlight. Now, you want to take off all the little silicon rubber things carefully, oh, although this one's broken, so it's not a big deal if it breaks. Peel these back, and uh, we're going to just measure our backlight so we can get a new one. So I've got a very handy tool for this, a dial caliper. You can try to estimate it. If you are doing a GPS map 498, I can tell you what the size is. But the dimensions you want to know are the width of the tube, which this one is a 2.4 millimeter. Uh, this is a cheap caliper, so it's not dead on, but it's about a 2.4 millimeter tube. And then you want this dimension from the glass, end of the glass, to the bend, far end of the bend. And this one is an 80 millimeter by 111 millimeter. So what you then do is you go to ccflwarehouse.com and find this lamp. It's a $15 lamp and you order a replacement. Or you can send this to them with the wires attached and they will solder on. Okay, so I just got my new CCFL bulb. It was $15, and I have re-soldered the wires on. I'm not going to show you that step, because hopefully you can figure that out or whatever. Alright, so you want to put your bulb back in the C-channel. This part is a little tricky getting all of this stuff back in here. But the bulb goes in, the wire sits in the track, like so. Now we need to get in all of our layers of stuff. And if I remember correctly, um, there's a little flat spot here which shows where uh, it lines up with in the plastic. You can see the little flat spot. Um, if you're smart, you'll try to keep all this stuff clean, but I have left it sitting out on the table for two days while I was waiting, so it's a little dusty. having trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on after I put on these layers of stuff. They need to fit underneath this a little bit. Like I said, this part is a little tricky. might actually help to get them all the way underneath your C channel. Okay. 
think I'm happy with that. I'll put my C channel back in. Okay. Now we can put on our glass. The notched part goes in the corner. Okay, that's all in. This little piece of paper goes in. I think the paper just goes in the edge. This goes back in. You can see it's just got the part number. Our tray goes back on. It fits over the wire like that. So, a few fingerprints and a little cat here later. We've got that assembled. Now, all right, so here we are on the boat. I'm just going to uh, see if this thing works now that I got it all hooked up. And there it is. Backlight is working. You can adjust the brightness and everything, so that's it. That's how you replace the backlight on a Garmin GPS map 498.